Welcome back everybody. We're building an Android app with Jetpack. So in the previous video, in the first part, we got this recycler view set up. So we can scroll through a list of comments for the social media site and say these are from your friends or your family, your relatives or whatever. And right now you can like just scroll through them and like them, but this doesn't actually do anything. And in reality, they all say the same thing. Not very useful. In this video, let's create uh, some data models and we'll enhance recycler view so that we can actually display different posts from friends. There's a long ways for this app to go, but I'm gonna try to make this as many parts as possible and use as many Jetpack libraries as possible from like room to live data, uh, view model, work manager, uh, those, will be, those will probably be the main ones. Anyway, so here's what we got so far, a list of posts, but I wanna go ahead and actually display different posts. So let's do that now. So I'm gonna save it, and I'm actually gonna do what I usually do with projects, is I usually go up here to version control and enable that. Let's install, or let's set up Git, and then we can actually, I think it's one of these buttons here, I usually just use, I think it's that one, but it has a keyboard shortcut of control K. So just press that button now that Git is enabled. And let's check all of these files into Git and call it initial commit. And if you're following along, can we get, get rid of those? I guess not. So I'm gonna go ahead and commit that. Commit, commit, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, so I think I got everything committed. So if I do that again, yeah, it just says no changes detected. So we have that saved and that's in Git now. And we also have access to it at the bottom under version control. So if we go to our log, we see, we see, yeah, we made one commit and here are all the changes. And we can like, we can like go through all the files that were created for us. That's kind of outside of the scope of this tutorial, but I wanted to get Git in in the way, so if I, out of the way. So if I make a small change, then we're all there, we're always able to go back and or say we make an error, we can go back and see what what it, what the code did before that error was introduced. That's just a good practice to use Git. Okay, so I think we have post row here. Uh, I'm gonna gonna try to do this. I'm gonna do r dot layout dot post. Still not showing up. Post row. Let's go ahead and do alt enter and I don't know what's going on. Anyway, it works just fine. I probably just need to like rebuild or invalidate cache or something, but I, I can verify if I go to run, it should run just fine and it does. So there's all our posts. So right now we have 20 of them, but where we set it up, actually we're not even actually setting it up because we're hard coding it inside of this post row XML layout file. So it's just hard coded inside of there. So what we need to do is we need to actually go into our recycler view and for each of the 20 posts, what we need to do is display the correct data. So first we need to create that. So let's do this. Let's go to new, let's create a new package. We'll call this models. And in reality, I do this a little bit differently, but this will work for now. And inside of there, let's go to new Kotlin file class and we'll call this um, uh, post type text. We'll do text. Uh, the name of this will become more apparent in a future lesson where we try to have different layouts for, say if somebody wants to post a video, do we show the same layout as if they post a photo or a text? Like in reality, if they're sharing a website, the layout might be different than sharing a video. So in this case, we'll just handle just text. So just text, not videos and photos just yet. So here we do, here we are, and let's do this. Let's do... Uh, let's call this a data class, so that's all good. Let's go inside of here and we'll do val, um, we'll do text, that'll be a string, and then maybe we'll have like a date, and this will be a string for now, although we'll change it. Uh, then um, I guess that's good enough for now. So we just have text and date, and in reality, we won't wanna make date a string, but this, this will work for now, so that's, just, that's good. So now that we have this post type text, Let's go ahead and accept it here so we can actually use it. So val, we'll do posts equals a list of post type text. So we have a list of this data type here and each, each one of those 20 records will have a title and a date. So it's not just saying, we're not just saying just one of those, we're saying many of them, so that's why we add the list there. So that should all be good and working. And then, then down here we can access it. So instead of hard coding 20, we'll do posts dot size. So if there are 100 posts, it'll display 100 ones. If there are only three, it'll display just three. And I think we're good with that. And this can actually be made private, so I'll alt enter and make that private. 
and I think we're good right there. Now we're good in error if we try to run this because if we go to where this post adapter is uh, used, uh, not there, if we go to where it's used, it should give us an error because we're not passing anything in. So we need to pass in posts. Uh, let's do posts, but we haven't actually created that yet. So what we need to do is come up to here and do a val posts equals multiple list of, and we'll do it this way for now. So a list of post type text. And that's the same class that's right here. So we're creating a list with a bunch of titles and dates right now. And that's all we have right now. Uh, let's go back to here. So we have a list of that. And for now, we'll do it this way. We'll do four, I, N, we'll do one. We'll do, we'll just, do, just to give it a random number, we'll do 20, why not? Or 24, why not? So for each one of those, we'll do posts dot add, and we'll add a post type text. We need to provide it with a title. So the, the text, or not a title, but a text. The text will be, I did something cool today. Check it out. And then we also need to give it a date. So the state will be, say it's just January. Uh, we'll do a May, we'll do May 10th, 2019. So that should, that should, that should uh, fulfill all of, our, all of our requirements. So if we go back to here, we can see we're successfully getting the posts. We're getting the post from our main activity here because we pass it in right there. So if we control click on there, we can see we set up posts there, then we add 24 of them there. So let's go ahead and run this. And let's see if it crashes or not. And let's see, it didn't crash. But you still see we haven't actually updated the text. That's because it's hard coded inside of our post row here. So what we need to do is we need to get rid of that text there. So open up preview on the right side. And instead of doing Android text, let's do this. Let's do tools. Oops, let's do tools text. And that's going to give us an error. So click on there and do alt enter. And I think create namespace. Yeah, that does it. So that way, so the difference between Android there and tools means tools is just for you to look at in the preview. So if you really want the text to show there, then do Android. But if you just want it to show up just while you're developing it, put in tools. And that's a nice way you can put in some random text. And if I were to go inside right here and run it, you'll notice that we don't see any of that text. It's just for this preview here inside of Android Studio so that you can go inside of there and see what it looks like with text. So instead of having it being blank, it actually shows you something. Okay, so we're done with that. What else was I working on? Oh yeah, so this recycler view, this posts adapter. What we need to do is actually set the text. So we gave it an ID of main text. So we have access to that. So let's go inside of onvine view holder and let's do this. Let's do, nope, not that. Let's do, let's do holder dot view dot text. Oh, main text, actually. Main text dot text. We have to do that one more time. Equals, uh, then we'll, we'll reference our posts up there. So it'll be posts. Uh, then we wanna get it for our position there. So we'll do position. So this dot text. So all of this right here, well actually yeah, all of that will happen 23 times because we set it for, I mean 24 times because it happens 24 times there. So that right there will be 24 times and it'll go inside of each one of these uh, post type text classes and actually show us the data there. So I think this should work. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it and go back to the emulator and let's see if it works or not. Yeah, so it does. Now they're all the same, but you'll notice we have much more control over it. So say we want the first one to be, uh, we'll do posts.add. Actually, we won't do that. We'll do, we'll come down to here and we'll copy all of that line there. So just go ahead and copy. We can copy that and let's put it up here. So I'll put it right there and we'll do, we'll change it from that to this is the first post. And we'll change its date, which we aren't showing yet, to May 11th, 2019. Run it, and let's go back to here. And sure enough, there's our first post. So it says, this is our first post, and I did something cool today comes all the way below there. So if you wanted to, you could do this. You could, you could literally go in here and just make tons of posts like that and do it tons of different times. And all of these will show up, and you can manually go inside of there and actually update the text for each one of those. 
that's kind of, we'll do that in a future video, probably the next video or next couple of videos. But I just want to make sure that this actually works. So if we go in there and run it and look at it, yeah, we see our first post there. And then we can like it and comment, but that functionality doesn't work quite yet. So we'll continue to work on this in future videos. This is, this is all going to be in Kotlin, and I intend to make a lot of these. And I'll try to produce them as fast as I can. Like, I have a full-time job, so I can only do this on, like, weekends and evenings. I probably do videos maybe a few hours every month. Um, and then I respond to some comments and stuff. But anyways, this is what we have so far. Hopefully you learned something about Recycler Review, and I'll see you in the next video.